So the show was set out to trigger discussions around class. We're asking questions because we want class discussed. We're not trying to um, give you any answers. We wanted to find artists from working class or lower middle class backgrounds and see if we had sort of certain things in common in terms of the way we work, in terms of what we make sculpture about, in terms of the materials we use, in terms of the sort of effects that we're, we're trying to create. As an artist from a working class background, it's been quite um, obvious, or it, it feels very palpable to me that um, since I've been making art, um, class isn't discussed much uh, within art. Uh, I've, and I've always felt um, a bit out of place. I, I'm, I'm very conscious of the fact that I'm a, um, uh, a working class person operating in a middle class arena. Did your artwork get accepted into the open call? Nope. Any theatre interest in your new stage play? None. Did that commercial gallery sign you up? No. Any interest from the BBC on your radio play? None. It's not a survey show, it's very much coming from our love of all the, all the work that, that, that we see. But that might be to do with certain things that we, we recognise, which are to do with our backgrounds and to do with the sort of experiences of, of being split, of feeling awkward, of feeling like you're saying the wrong thing. But also the, um, the, those more sort of positive qualities that come in and maybe are undervalued, let's say they're sort of undervalued within the, the normal sort of critical framework of how art's discussed. We were really looking for work which kind of elicits emotions or reactions in the viewer which don't rely on anyone knowing about art. Some of the language used around art is, is, is overly complicated. For example, something that really oft irritates me is uh, the way sculptures are always called objects, even if they are just a load of things that have been um, found on the street. <clears throat> Art wants to rarify it or, 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 or transition it out from the real world and put it into the, into the gallery world. And I want to bring the gallery world straight back down into the real world. So I don't really, well, try not to use the word object too much. We use the word, it's a thing. I'm surrounded by... Um, Four things. 22 things. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and of course, which leads sort of onto the title, Oh You Poor Thing. I mean, it's um, a phrase that um, is often uh, used, perhaps to describe myself. <laughs> but, but, um, and so there's a, a, a joke um, kind of uh, around um, th these things and um, the, the, the p potential that they might be considered to be poor things. Um, um, and it's, um, you know, it's a, t it's a term of endearment, yeah, I think. Yeah, of course, which, yeah. Uh, is I mean, maybe... Poor things. 